Hi. So I'm going to give a very brief overview of machine learning on the Google Cloud platform. So on the right-hand side of this slide are the CloudML APIs. Vision, speech, natural language, translate, and video intelligence. So machine learning has been part of Google's DNA for a long time. And with these APIs, we're bringing it for everyday use. So these APIs give you access to powerful machine learning models um, just through a REST API without needing any machine learning experience to use. So you, you can think of these as models as a service. And we're really happy to announce that just today, we're releasing the Video Intelligence API in beta. So that means it's available for everyone to use. This API does automatic um, detection of entities in videos and lets you make them discoverable and searchable. We, we've got a really fun demo of this at the booth. So in the middle of the slide is CloudML Engine. So this gives you a no-ops infrastructure for training and serving any TensorFlow model that you want without the hassle of um, setting up a cluster or provisioning GPUs or figuring out how to serve your model um, once you've trained it. So you can think of this as ML as a service. And there is no worry about lock-in. So you can train on CloudML Engine if, if you want with a GPU cluster, serve it elsewhere, or vice versa. You can train elsewhere and then use CloudML's scalable serving if you like. And then on the left-hand side, compute as a service. So there are many ways that you can bring your favorite machine learning framework to a cloud platform. There's Dataproc, which is managed to dupe in Spark, and also um, Compute Engine, Container Engine. Lots of ways to, to bring your favorite framework. So next, I'm going to really briefly show a couple of the ML APIs. So the Natural Language API lets you extract entities, uh, sentiment, and syntax from text. So here I'm analyzing a sentence. So you can see that the, the API is detecting the entities in the sentence, and it's doing sentiment analysis um, on the entities as well as the, the larger text. And it's, it's also doing syntax mapping and part of speech tagging. And then the, the vision API. This lets you do things like uh, label detection, um, learning what's in an image, face detection, OCR, um, landmark and logo detection, and, and lots more. So we have just um, put out a new release of the Vision API that has um, a big set of updates to all of its features, including um, a much extended label vocabulary and uh, increase in model accuracy by more than uh, 25%. So here I'm using the Vision API. This is a picture of a, a bridge in Lisbon. And you can see that it's detecting not only bridge, but um, other things like sky and sea. It is, it's figured out which bridge it is, and it's, it's um, showing the location of that on a map. And it's giving a set of um, web pages that show matched images and, and a lot more. <laughs> so um, these APIs, you can try them out yourself from um, their web pages. They're really powerful, easy to use. They're great for helping to process unstructured data. But um, maybe you want to build some more specialized models. So we've open sourced um, a large number of, of TensorFlow models, um, some just in the last few weeks. And you heard about um, a bunch of fun ones from Doug's great talk as well. So a neat thing about many of these models is that you can use them for transfer learning. So you can essentially fine tune them on your own data. So suppose that you wanted to build an app that recognized whether an object was, was huggable. So you might have some positive training instances of, of things like you know, puppies and pillows. You might have some negative training instances of things like um, you know, hacksaws and X-Acto knives. So I, I can use this training data and um, do transfer learning, basically bootstrap from the open source inception image classification model to train a new model that does this. Once I've got my trained model, I can deploy it to CloudML Engine, and that gives me um, a scalable API that I can call, say from a web app, to make predictions on, on new apps. So I'm just going to close with a really quick call out to 
the TensorFlow um, Object Detection API just, just recently open sourced a couple of weeks ago. Look for the very interesting blog post on this. So I just sort of scratched the surface. Um, but I hope this gave you a, b a bit of a sense of the different ways that you can use machine learning on Google Cloud Platform. Thank you. <laughs>